Then, so here we have a reflex tester, which can just test your reflexes. So, this is the start button and we have to press it to start the game. And these are the players buttons. So, as soon as we press the start button, these LEDs will start blinking randomly. And when the LEDs reaches, when the red LED turns on, then the buzzer will also turn on. And the moment the red LED turns on, each player has to press their respective button. And then the LCD will display the winner and also how much time it took. So let's play the game. So now let's play the game. Since it's a two player game, I'll be playing with my mother. So let's start, ma. Okay. Click the start button. Right, mommy. I won. Nice. Yes. yes. I won again. So looks like my reflexes are faster. So let's build it together. So here we have an LCD connected to an Arduino here. And here we have three buttons. So we just press this button, which is the start button to start the game. So then these LEDs will blink and the buzzer will sound. As soon as the buzzer sounds, you're supposed to click on these buttons to just stop the sound. And then this will measure who clicked on the buttons first and, and in how much time. Basically, did they click on them. So this start button is connected to A0 pin. And this is connected to pin A1. This is player's 1 button. This is connected to pin A2. This is player's 2 button. There's two player twos button. So then this is a red LED connect. This is the red LED connected to pin eight, yellow LED to pin nine, and the green LED to pin ten. We also have a buzzer here which is connected to pin seven. All right. So now let's look at the code. So the first thing we do is include the liquid crystal library, and then we define a few variables. And in the setup method, we set the pins as inputs and outputs. And then we start the LCD and print some text on it. And in the loop method, we keep checking when the buttons are pressed. And if the start button is pressed, it sets a game over variable to false. Means the game is not over. Nobody has pressed all the buttons yet. And also it starts the start button sequence method. And if the game is not over, then they check. Then we check on the player buttons. So player 1 pressed this button, it displays player 1, 1. Then it also shows the time. That turns off the buzzer and the LEDs. Then sets game over to true. And similarly for player 2. Okay. And yes, also here it starts a counter. And it stops the counter. Which is started in this method, the start button sequence method. So here we have, then it just turns on the green LED and then it blinks the other LEDs randomly. And when, if the red LED is on, then the buzzer, or if it chooses to turn on the red LED, then it also turns on the buzzer and starts a counter, which is stopped in the loop method when you, the players press their buttons. And then that's it. Hope you liked it a lot and please enjoy. Bye.